funny enough, uh, at the time of this episode, right, the, the, these uh, came out uh, literally as, like, right before we start, started recording, right? So I'm looking, and basically what, what I'm doing, it's, it's kind of like how we do the chapter review, but I'm just basically going to read the translation from Herms. Yeah, these are not from Chronicles this time around, so shout out to Herms, right? Um, and he says in the first picture that the roughs are out for Dragon Ball Super Chapter 87, and it is titled, The Greatest Warrior in the Universe is Revealed. Well then. The battle over, Goku notes that their training wasn't enough. Vegeta says he doesn't want to win like, like this again, and he'll polish his techniques and prove he's better than Goku. Kai, your thoughts? I think he will get to prove that he's better than Goku and I agree he doesn't want to win like that and we're really going to get to see an amazing Vegeta unfold here in the future thanks to legend a Dragon Ball Kero <laughs> <laughs> I knew this I knew something was coming something. yeah cause you can smell the bullshit huh yeah you know I'm not gonna lie I saw the, I saw the, the frame the, the frame one I saw on your face, I was like, oh, he's not with this. I just I just knew it. I just knew. It. You want to know why? Because when I read this line, when I just read the idea that he's going to prove that he's better than Goku, I lost count of how many times we've seen that. So, Brandon, anything else? I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think it would happen. Like okay. I, don't, I don't, I don't think, I don't really believe it's gonna happen. I mean, because that's not really the Dragon Ball we know, <laughs> in a sense. Nope. If we, if you want to be logical, if you want to be logical, if you want to be like hypothetical and optimistic, then yeah, sure, you believe what you want. <laughs> believe what you want, you know what I mean? But, but uh, I mean, due to logical thinking and circumstances of Dragon Ball in general, then, I mean, the the people of that standard will. No, that Vegeta is not gonna get. Well, he might polish his skills, but he's not gonna be better than Goku. Right. That's what's gonna happen. That's that's what's gonna. Happen. He's gonna polish his skills, and then so is Goku, and then uh, I guess yeah, go behind. Yeah. If, if Vegeta's polishing his <laughs> skills, what do you? If Vegeta's po <laughs> if Vegeta is polishing his skills, what do you think Goku's doing? He's not sitting on his ass. This motherfucker's trying to get stronger too. Yeah, because Goku doesn't Goku doesn't you know doesn't, meditate or anything. Yeah. Sitting on his ass isn't training. He's got to move, move, move. Mm. Mm. Uh -huh. Great points, fellas. Great, great points. points. Was that the only fucking thing? No, there's a few pages here. That was just for, that was page one. Oh, All right. Sure. <laughs> Second page. Meanwhile, Granola suffers from the after effects of the technique he used. Normally, this technique costs the user's own life. So Granola thinks he's probably shortened his lifespan even more now. Goku's confused. What's that about his lifespan? So Goku clearly doesn't know about the wish that was made. And I guess this is going to be some sort of a recap chapter. Just getting that vibe off of that line. Because of course, after a question is asked, it gets answered. So... Granola or Manito is gonna explain it, I'm sure. And then, you know, I mean, ha. bro, that bro, that lifeline technique gives me Naruto flashbacks. Not gonna lie. Oh, does it? It does. Cause, I mean, it's not really. It, it, there's no Naruto spoilers. That shit's over with. So I don't give a fuck. Hey, and but not, our, I mean, boy, our boy Kai. Yeah, but yeah, how far, if he's he starting from start scratch, if he's starting from scratch, he's not gonna reach to this point for fucking years. I don't even know how long. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, I was gonna say. Don't I was gonna doubt say years. his anime watching ability. Don't doubt it. Okay. I know, but do you know how much Naruto there is? Naruto and then Shippuden. Yes. Like you know exactly. Two twenty so, and then five hundred. So yes. I'm gonna just go out and say it because it is what it is. But when Naruto fucking used his final. The last technique with Kurama, with Mans, mm. then his life, well, not Naruto's life, but Kurama's lifespan has shrunken and then he died. Oh, you're, oh, wow. So you're going to, you're, you're making that comparison? Mm. That's the, yeah, that's the comparison I'm making, to be honest. Because, like, I mean, that shit was, that shit was 
That shit hit. <laughs> that shit hit. Yeah. That shit hit. So, I mean, you know, we're good, Kai. <laughs> we're good, Kai. <laughs> so, so, here's my problem with this, right? So, what I'm, what I'm getting out of these little chapters, spoilers, <laughs> drafts, whatever the fuck we want to call them, mistakes. Okay? Oh, 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 so, oh. <laughs> Oh, shit. My problem with this is, what, what did this? What did this say? The greatest warrior in the universe is revealed. Pause. That is clearly referring to Granola, because he made the wish. Gas has been defeated. They are emphasizing the lifespan thing. You know how much it's hurting him for doing all that, and he even used a technique. And Vegeta didn't want to win that way. So like all the signs are pointing to that, right? So, what pisses me off is it should not have happened this way in the first place, number one. Number two, we, we always discuss that, like, okay, this is Granola's win. He needs the last hit. All right, cool. He got it. Great. Good, good for you. I personally don't care. My problem with this is that Granola, like, in design and kind of, like, character himself and things like that, he reminds me of, fu- of Future Trunks. Hmm. Like he, I, mm. I see him bearing resemblance to Future Trunks. Okay. And what pisses me off is that they're going to do this, and like where he's the bad guy, and now he's the good guy, or maybe he was never the bad guy. He was just mistaken or mistaught or this, that, whatever, and now he's gonna die. Oh no! What the fuck do you think they're gonna do? <sighs> so. Instead of doing this with this character, could we have just skipped this and kept Trunks in the first place? I would have loved that. I'm not gonna lie. And yes, that is biased. I don't, I don't even like Trunks. I don't even like Trunks. I don't. I hate that fucking Ningen. I don't like Trunks. Okay, that hurts. My feelings. <laughs> I love Trunks. He said Trunks, that hurt. Trunks no, is an I don't. OG, yeah. No. Is an OG. I like Kid Trunks, but that's the only version of him that I really like vibed with. That's crazy. That is future, crazy. Fu- future Trunks just never hit for me. I love Future Trunks. <sighs> okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Android Saga's Cell Saga, man. Dude. He was diffy. <laughs> That's, that's where that, he was known for. That yeah. That, that's 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 another episode right there, like off rip. So so let what's me go. Let me, let me, what's let me, the next page? Let me hold on. But I want to backtrack for a second on something Kai said. Okay. Uh, so the thing that you're saying that we think is definitely going to happen. Are you referring to, like you know, Granola's about to die and his lifespan is shortened? Uh-huh, are uh-huh. you? I just want to make this clear. I just want to make this clear for the people. Go ahead. Say it. Are they about to use the Dragon Balls and wish that shit to be like, reverse, reverse, and oh, <laughs> and then he's part of the Z fucking Warriors, right? The, the Z Super. I warriors. swear to God, this is oh man, this is the sh- oh man, this is literally why this podcast exists. Oh my God, I'm so tired of it. <laughs> whatever, right? Whatever. Next. <laughs> Let's keep yeah. it. Let's keep it going. This is keep crazy. All right, next page. We Granola. thought we would hit this point in like a thousand chapters. No, dude, we're not even at a hundred. You realize that? Monthly head ass fucking releases. Anyway, third page. Granola explains that he becomes best in the universe on the condition that his life was shortened to three years. Were they this specific before? No. Okay, so that's new. Okay. Goku can't... Be- wait, wait, what were you going to say? I'm just saying, they're just, they're just making shit now. <laughs> they just... As they go, they say... <laughs> they're like, like, it happens, there's no information about it. <laughs> and then next episode, they decide, all right, guys, let's make... Let's, <laughs> let's, let's do this. Let's say, let's say how long this shit lasts for. That's what, that's what these niggas Yo. really do. All right, next. Continue, continue. All right, so then he says... Okay, so Goku can't believe he'd do something so crazy. While Vegeta asks if Gas did something similar. Granola thinks so, but doesn't know how much Gas's life got shortened. Okay, that's fair. Um, the next page reads, Manito steps on and heals everyone with his new and improved healing powers. 
So let's fucking say, let me just go over that for a second. Granola went from shit to that shit because he said, oh, my healing techniques are garbage. And now all of a sudden, he's, he's Jesus. He's a he's the sensu bean. You're talking about Manito. Oh, that's what I meant. Yeah, Manito. I'm sorry. I said granola, right? Yeah, no. I meant Manito. Because he's the 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 the, the, the Namekian in here. Okay. Yeah, dude. His healing powers went from shitty to litty for no reason. Shitty to litty. There's something that rhymes with that, but I'm not gonna say it. So here we go. It's all thanks to him using magic so often. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, though it would have been better if he could have used this sooner. Right. That's uh, what he, they said. <laughs> he that said was right. in there. <laughs> this is right, real. Go. Go this on. is real, this Brent. Is, this, this is, is real. really happening. Elik curses that, uh, that his plans have gone awry. It was his fault or tr for trusting the Dragon Balls. So Elik is He's blaming. He's mad and blaming the Dragon Balls. Get the yo, get him out of here. Yo, where's Next. Frieza? Next. Next page. Okay. Next page. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Some. <laughs> I saw something. Okay. Elik orders his ship's hatch. Um. Uh, sorry. He opens his ship. Uh, <laughs> orders his ship's hatch open and prepares to flee alone. Goku asks if he plans to leave Gas behind, but Elix says Gas is a goner anyway. Wow. Leaves him for dead. Oh. We knew that was gonna happen. He looked like that grimy type of nigga. I mean, he definitely looked that grimy, but I didn't think he would do that. That's crazy. Um, or he starts to say that when suddenly a mysterious beam pierces Manito, followed by more what's going on. So Manito gets shot. Okay. And the last page is the answer lies in the full chapter, I assume, which will be out next week as per the norm. All right. That's a, that's a great cliffhanger. So let me ask you this. Was it Granola that shot him? Or was it fucking finally Frieza? Frieza? Fuck Frieza got to do with that shit. Because they've been fucking hyping this character up, mentioning him by name several times throughout this fucking arc. Okay? And the, the reason why I would think it could be Frieza is because it could set up for whatever is coming after. Because, again, they were teasing, they were teasing and dropping his name all the time. And then nothing. And now, since this is like the very end of this arc, since the climax already took place, it would, in a sense, make some sort of sense for them to finally have him appear, kill somebody on sight, and now they have a purpose to go after Frieza again or whatever, right? So, go ahead, Kai. I know you got something to say. I don't think it's Frieza. Okay. I don't want it to be Frieza. Okay. And I say this because if it was, we're going to play the what if game. If it was Frieza, that means that in my, in my opinion, that means this was the last possible chance for this entire arc to fucking do something with their writing in this story. Yeah. Okay, this has been a complete mess. They need to stop. This is not it. So what the fuck? If if it really was Frieza, I'd be kind of tight because I'd have to sit here and be like, God damn it! It it almost it's almost like like you know how we talked about there's always a certain amount of head ass with Dragon Ball's good writing. I would hate to have to admit that this was a good arc just because I saw Frieza in the last panel and they really didn't name drop him for nothing i don't think i don't think it's gonna be that i think it's gonna be something bum like gas's almost corpse shot him with his dying breath and then goes out yeah i was kind of like thinking about saying the same thing almost as reg in, in regards to gas i guess in this case because like i mean if it, if it's not frieza then i don't really believe it would be granola because that wouldn't seem it wouldn't seem right at all no. and i mean 
it would make more sense for a gas to 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 do that just like as a way to go out like, right in a sense taking somebody with him maybe if he actually if that beam even kills Manita. but like that's, that's as far as i would go it's either it's either gonna be i guess frieza if we're gonna throw his name out there or it is gas which is most likely i would assume okay other, other than that i don't believe i don't know who else would do it because like, i don't i don't think Granola would do it so if it's frieza that would actually make things entertaining again for the first time in like six months that's what so, i'm saying like hey like here he is finally like we've been name dropped because dude think about that how the fuck as a storyteller are you going to plant said seed and it doesn't grow into the expectation you know what i'm saying oh but you gotta remember super's been doing this almost every single arc planting seeds that don't grow you want to talk about universe six saiyans oh Oh, god you want to exactly like this has been going on forever you want to talk about yamoshi you want to talk about universe six saiyans you want to talk about goku black's existence i can do this all fucking day talking about seeds that don't grow (laughs) okay workers don't water them so the funny the, (laughs) the funny thing is you mentioned the universe six saiyans um, I could have sworn I saw something on Twitter where someone was talking about the rumored next arc being that. Which so then, so so then, so then, let me ask this, right? Let's play the what if game again, real quick. If that's true, how would this be Frieza? <sighs> yeah, I mean, yeah. If, if we're gonna relate the next arc potentially. Back to this, then yeah, yeah, that makes. Because they, um, if they're gonna do that, then they're gonna close this off in a dumb way, like they've closed off a bunch of the other ones, yeah. and then we're gonna have like no transition to the next one. It's just gonna be another arc they're squeezing in. For well, no if it like, I don't know, bro, because like, I don't know. That's just that's just a little, a little yeah. too far fetched. It's so it's like so weird because like if Frieza does. If it's actually Frieza by some fucking chance, I mean, there's that's the next fucking arc for us, I guess. Yeah, it's like it would, kinda, it would it's make things kinda, interesting. But but like, how long is that shit gonna be? Like, that's so, the real question, yeah, dude. If because like, we, we need we need like, like we need the time. It needs to be something. Frieza. That's the correct answer. Yes, it needs to be. If it's gas, it's like whatever. I just don't want it to be Frieza because I don't want this arc to have any excuse because it has not been putting out. And I'd literally, like I said, I'd hate for the last panel to be the whole the, the whole reason the arc was okay. Okay, well, here's the thing. There's a, there's a couple things here, right? So if it is Frieza, I will just acknowledge that that doesn't make this this whole arc and the, and the process of reading it month to month and following it ever since it started any better than what it is how it's presented itself as is is whatever and i'm just saying like but as a whole like wrapping up the end of the story with him like that and then maybe you know starting the new one with him that's a really good flow and that's something that we haven't seen in the manga in hella fucking long (laughs) so that's why yeah or ever to be honest at that rate if you think about it yikes no, I'm serious because everything has had a hard stop and then something brand new just happens. Nothing has right. ever been like continuous and fl- f- ever flowing like that, like you mentioned. So the other the other thing that I wanted to bring up, though, that uh, we haven't mentioned yet is that if Manito dies, there goes the Dragon Balls because ain't that how that works? You kill the Namekian. But there's only two of them. We're not stressing those. Yeah, we got shit, man. They could just fucking hit him up. Especially, yo, know, Piccolo, speed dial. Hey. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, he, he still needs, he still needs a Dragon Ball, though. They start the whole chain. Like, people can never be worried about that shit ever again. Like, Manito dies. Like, all right, call up Piccolo. Use that Shenron to wish my Na- Manito back. Then you get his Dragon Balls. Anything happens to Piccolo, you go hit Manito up. Like, now it's just this whole chain of Namekians. If they're even able to do that. But, I mean... But yeah, so like I bring that up because it's like it's like obvious, okay, like that's that, that's a big consequence. Like Manito dies, that's their way of you know immediately getting rid of that option to then wish for uh I guess granola to stay alive. To like over But that's not the 
that's not the only set of Dragon Balls, though. That's what I was saying. No, right? I know that, but I'm just saying, like, because they're on Serial, they're on a whole nother planet. I don't know how long it would take them to go back to Earth. Ugh. Yeah. I just, you know what? But It's the only way to but travel. But yo, but it is the only way to travel, but here's the thing. Tell me, and tell me I'm wrong. How many times have we seen a situation where you need it and you can't use and it because they, it's oh my god it happens like oh, that. Oh, you're right you're right that's exactly how it would go it's uh i'm dying i need it oh oh kakarot take him use it gets the transmission i can't shut the fuck up right <laughs> i hate that i hate that and I they're can't. exhausted like think about it i mean they just got healed though energy. they did get healed that, so so no excuses like go Bro, Goku literally just played the It's the Transmission game with gas back and forth all over the place. Don't tell me he can't pull that to get him back in time. Yeah. Yeah, no, honestly. It, that would be so stupid. So we figured out that, okay, this is the scenario. If, <laughs> if, if we the, figured out the scenario and we figured out what needs to happen and what shouldn't happen. Or else it's just gonna write itself as worse than the fucking is as it is. So yeah, that's hilarious actually. But that's what we do here: constructive criticism. So yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to it. You know, I'm looking forward to seeing how it plays out and what it sets up into because. Is this the last chapter of the arc, or are we going to have one more after this? I mean, it, what makes you think we're not getting another one? Well, I... There's no way. I, 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 I kind of just want to, you know, move it along here. Oh, you, you want to move it along. <laughs> yeah, fuck me, oh. right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. It's... Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, all right, all right okay. <laughs> oh god anyway but there's your, there's the chapter review or not review but preview of 87 that's no, coming it, up. no it's basically review we did it for you go ahead enjoy the read let us know how it went damn <laughs> oh that's that good shit <laughs> <laughs>